couples expanding their already large family, adopting children from overseas. And a program at CHOP is helping them hit the ground running to make sure their children get all the medical help they need. Fox 29's Karen Hepp explains. Just your average family playing kickball, <laughs> riding bikes, shooting hoops, strategizing chess. Well, we have 13 children. 11 of them are biological and two are adopted. We adopted from Ethiopia. For the Shapers, children are their vocation. Watch little Graceland today. Go that way. Go. The way she laughs and plays, it's hard to believe this active, happy little girl was once this very sickly little baby, so tiny and weak she could barely move. At 13 months old, she was in three month clothes. She couldn't sustain a crawl. Um, she could keep no food down. Come to mommy. <laughs> The Schaefers knew Gracie had medical needs and started working with the expert from the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia's International Adoption Program to prepare. So before she ever came home, we had a plan of action of what to do with her. Eight different specialists helped Gracie physically and emotionally. Through eye surgery and therapy, she learned to walk. Come on! Good girl! Come on! And most of all, laugh. <laughs> With all the love that Gracie brought, the Schaefers knew they still had more to give and decided to adopt an older child just last year, 11-year-old Biniam. I'm glad. Why? Because I have a big family. Here's Benny's first day home, meeting all of his new brothers and sisters. Benny is used to lots of kids. He grew up in an orphanage. He is not used to so much attention. He's had lots of firsts. First trip to the ocean, he loved it. Come on, let's Here's Benny's first snow. Okay. Sledding. Okay. It's okay. Ah. And even snowboarding. They've changed us more than I think that we've changed them. The Schaefers deeply believe in giving back and helping to raise kind kids. And we didn't think we should just go to work every day and come home and redo our house and buy new cars and take big vacations. Consuming everything just for ourselves when there are so many opportunities that we can help. Changing futures one child at a time. Vinny also had health issues that needed the help of CHOP's international adoption team, eye surgery, and experts on early childhood traumas. Happy birthday to Less than a year, the boy who was smaller than an eight-year-old when he arrived is now a large 12-year-old. <laughs> All right, good job. Benny's wish has already come true: a home and a family who loves him. Before you adopt, it's easy to pretend these kids don't exist. But once you actually see them, once you know their name, we've been in these orphanages. We've held these kids in our laps. We've hugged them. How do you turn your back? You know, if you see someone needs food, would you not feed them? If you see someone needs clothes, would you not clothe them? You know, and the same thing, if you see someone that needs a family, you know, would you not bring them in? Would you not, can you not be a parent to these kids? And now we have seen that. So our radar's kind of up. 13 kids and counting? We need to catch our breath. We really do. But there, there are some really cute kids out there in the China program that we're looking at. Maybe one more. To find out more about the International Adoption Program at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, just come to our website, fox29.com. I'm Karen Hepp, Fox 29 News.